All right, what you're going to going to want to do. Um, if you have a leather store, it's it's nice. You can go there, Tandy Leather. That's where I went. Naga Leather is actually what it's called. It's a Tandy subsidiary, and uh, I had him strip me out these pieces of leather. It's kind of tough getting a 90-inch piece of leather, but um, he happened to have it on hand, a side that I can get it out of. <clears throat> have him strip it out for you, three and five eighths. Um, make yourself a pattern. These are supposed to be tapered at. I believe it said 25 degrees on these little edges here. I've seen styles where they come in kind of cut like that, like a half moon almost. Um, the ones that I've seen off the movie look closer to this, where they come to a point and then cut down. As far as the length of this this end piece here, let's see. From the bottom of there to there is about six and a half inches and I'm sorry this is going to be a totally confusing video it was a pain in the butt making this thing and uh, I'm really happy with it but it was it was pretty tough um, the boxes are spaced one and a half inches apart separated um, I wouldn't pre-measure these and punch all your holes I would do each one separate as you went so punch this hole get it set, stretch it to where you need it to where it sits natural. Leave yourself a little bit of give. If you have it too tight then when you go to put it on when it flexes it's going to want to make this pucker and look weird. So, you know, punch your hole, set your rivet in, get your setter. You want to buy a setter with your with your jiffy rivets like this here. Naga Leather also carries these in Sioux Falls, South Dakota here. Um, Tandy Leather, and a lot of places carry them. This is my guy I go to. The double cap rivets. Um, when you set these rivets, it's important to barely, you know, punch the hole. The rule of thumb for these rivets are um, you barely want to see the tip of the rivet before you put the cap on and try to set it because if it's too long, if there's too much of that end sticking out, it's going to bend over on you and it's going to. It's going to just make it a tough, tough time for you. So just make sure you measure these out good. Get the shorter stem ones, and you'll be fine. Get your setter, and get yourself something. I happen to have this piece of granite or marble, whatever it is. It looks like granite. I'll stretch these over. Pop one in. Get it measured. Um, you can get a rotary punch. Um, I don't care for them. When you punch stuff, it seems to go at an angle, kind of swoops. And then when you punch through anything thicker than maybe say that, then it wants to cut it at an angle and it's going to make all your stuff crooked. So it's better to spend a little bit more money, get a a flat punch. This happens to just be an Osborne, which are super good, but that just happens to be what I had on hand. So make sure you set something underneath these, like a piece of leather on there so you don't tear your end up or otherwise to go buy an extra one so back to this so I'm getting sidetracked <laughs> so we'll get these punched stretched over punched again all the way around um, you'll want to do some pre-measuring obviously to get everything it's kind of a it's going to be different for everybody I'm sure it's not a exact science here otherwise there'd be a million videos on YouTube telling you the exact specs of everything um, you do a lot of research on the movies. The uh, concho is about almost not quite three inches to center for the concho and about five to the first snap. And these are baby durable snaps. Look at all. I figured we'd go with one of these, then you could snap it on and off if you need to. And this is actually longer than it needs to be intentionally because the guy wanted to fit it, but I haven't had a chance to see him yet. So, As far as attaching the boxes, what I did was I took some Super 77 spray, sprayed the, the back of these blocks in the boxes, measured everything out, stuck them down, and then took my drill. I busted the tip off so the drill bit was only maybe this long 
not quite as deep as this, just in case it popped through so I didn't poke through the lids. And I had to buy more, because um, I think it was a 100, 150 bucks for a set of these these little boxes by themselves, not counting the leather. The leather was probably, you know, without buying the extra, it would have been 110, 120 bucks, not counting the hardware. So to attach them, we'll drill, you know, get them marked out, glue them down, drill your pilot holes, and then we'll take some of these Jiffy rivets and this rivet gun here. Pop rivets, these are fun. Actually, really fun. And uh, just drill the diameter of this hole here. You know, about the same as this one on the shaft here. This part, and this part would actually go in to your hole and it would attach this piece goes inside all the way flush with this here just like that and then as you tighten them as you pull this handle back it cinches down that little nail head and tightens it up inside the box so it doesn't pop off then when you go to set your leather strip it makes it pretty easy in comparison anyway <clears throat> all right as far as this hardware same place Naga leather it's a Tandy company these are inch and a quarter um, you use inch and a quarter or inch inch and a half either one I thought these looked a little nicer and then just attach on the ends of the straps here to connect the bag connect the bag with the bandolier itself all right it's always handy to have this is just a cheap one I bought off eBay just to prove a point it doesn't you don't have to spend it's better to spend the money on the more expensive tools but if you had to use something cheaper it's it's doable I think this is eight bucks on eBay Let's see here. this is an acrylic acrylic leather paint you can use you know just regular acrylic paint if you needed to this is my own special mixture Angelus sells stuff like that Angelus leather supply leather paint and um, let's see here so you got the boxes the thin strap the wide strap it takes about 20 rivets I'd buy extra just in case because they're gonna they're gonna flare over on you and you're gonna probably need more than 20 the width of the width of this strap is just over an inch inch and an eighth maybe to apply the leather die also use a cotton dauber here it'll normally come with this if not then they'll probably supply that if you just ask them so all right I think that's about it for now uh, if you have any questions or anything else just shoot me out a text in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP thank you very much